I'm charmed. I'm charmed. Oh yeah, you have so sexy stockings. Hello guys, Legend over here. Welcome back. And today we will be battling another boss, another level hundred boss, which is Succubus Selrin. Uh, in a battle called Iveka's Nightmare. We're gonna go through the requirements as usual, uh, get to the gameplay, and learn everything we need to know about this lady. All aboard! Okay, so the requirements. Now, uh, Succubus Selrin's uh, attack cap is 36,500. Uh, her crit cap raised slightly by 2 uh, compared to Lulam Fada in Brilliant Lu Battle, uh, and we now need 176 critical to crit cap her. Uh, the critical resistance cap will be 175. It keeps on raising and raising. And the amount of counterforce that you will need to uh, counterforce cap her will get, is going to be 140. Now, when we go to the quick battle, uh, the amount of power that we will need is slowly getting to 50,000. For Succubus Sauron, it's going to be 49 and a half. The technique is 230, which is, uh, I repeat, uh, it's your crit, crit plus balance. And uh, you can enter this battle with only 120 counterforce. But as you remember, we would want to do 100% of the damage to Selrin. So we'll have to make sure that uh, we're going to be counterforce cap for her, which is 140. Let's get to the gameplay now. All right, it's time to fight the seductors herself. Now, the battle against uh, Succubus Selrin uh, can be a little bit hard. Oh my god, hardness, I want to bang you! But, if you keep, it, keep your eyes on all the attacks that she's doing, uh, it, shouldn't, it shouldn't have, she shouldn't possess too much threat to you, okay? So, let's start. Let us begin. This, just a single slash right over here. Uh, Selrin tends to teleport a lot. And I mean a lot. So it makes it makes uh, fighting her a little bit frustrating because you don't know where she's attacking, where she is. So you spend a, a big portion of the battle just uh, trying to uh, figure out where she is. So she teleports, does two hits, and then after a little delay, uh, does another slash. Uh, this particular pattern, uh, she likes to do... Um, she likes to be quite slow on the preparation and do the attacks with the delay. So watch out for the for the, for all these delayed attacks, because they can be uh you know they can be really deadly, especially if you're running a Dullahan armor and you don't really have a lot of defense and critical resistance, because she hits really really hard. Now this pattern, uh, this one right here, she teleports, appears for a second. Just for a second, since these time bombs right there, watch out for them, they explode almost immediately, then teleports and attacks you with the two extra slashes. As you can see, the preparation is quite takes quite some time, and then she attacks, and then she, she mixes uh, most of her combos with the delays, so she's delaying a lot of combos, so it can be really, really tricky, and you will get caught quite a lot. Now, once Succubus Selrin drops to 9.5 bars, she teleports, appears in the middle of the arena, and starts casting her seduction attack. She releases these orbs around her that follow you. You can dodge them, you can dodge them, but if you get hit by them, you get charmed. What it does, you slowly start walking towards Selrin, and once you reach her, you're just gonna bend over and do nothing. You lose control of your character. What do you want to do here? You want to start mashing either E button, that's what I usually do, or directional uh, key buttons, which is W, A, S, D. It doesn't matter which ones, just mash them all. So you shake off the charm and regain control of your character. Now, if you don't do that, after she finishes the preparation, she will strike with a huge red uh, slam. Right over here. What do you want to do here? You want to pick this safe distance away from Selrin and make sure you are in this little inner circle so you don't get one-shotted. Boom. 
If you did everything correctly, if uh, you mashed the button quite quickly and were able to shake off the charm, you will be completely safe. If not, well, there is a high chance that you're probably going to be incapacitated and she will uh, succeed in seducing you. Continue attacking after that, uh, continue DPSing uh, Selrin. This particular pattern can be uh, quite tricky to deal with. Uh, let's watch it again. This is just a, a single hit right here, uh, nothing much to talk about here. Uh, she casts this cone of a shockwave, right? A cone frontal shockwave. That hits you and also sends homing uh, fireballs that will track your movement. So dodge away, dodge away, or block that shockwave, or make sure that you're just dodging the shockwave and uh, the homing fireballs uh, to be able to just uh, negate uh, the damage that is coming your way. Once a Succubus Selrin drops to eight and a half bars, she creates a dream world. What happens in the dream world? There is a sequence of attacks that she performs, but there is only one attack, one in particular, that will prompt a KO scene. What do you want to do? First of all, she disappears, then reappears again. There are three different outcomes. Uh, what might happen? First, uh, first outcome, she will reappear and she's gonna be like, you know, act like she's stunned or something, so luring her towards, uh, luring you towards her. So uh, she ain't gonna attack or do anything. After a short delay, she will teleport and reappear behind you. What do you want to do? You want to make sure that this particular hit right here, you either block or dodge from it. Now, Selrin chooses a, a random target, and whoever whoever is going to be the initial target for the hit that she does after that she teleports is going to flash orange. So, what do you want to do, uh, basically, is to make sure that you spread a little bit uh, far from each other in the party play, and make sure that you don't get caught by the attack. It doesn't matter who gets targeted. Whoever receives that slash after the teleportation that she does gets KO'd. Uh, the other outcome, right here, after a short preparation, she sends a massive shockwave. You can either dodge and block from it. And once again, she teleports to the player that she chose and does her slash attack. That slash attack is what prompts the KO. Now, um, the amount of attacks that might happen during the uh, dream phase depends. Usually it's four. Usually she, she performs four attacks. But uh, in my video, there is five. Um, I figured that it seems like whenever she does this fake uh, fake move, when where she's like groggy, you know, and kind of stunned, hmm, the more she does that, the more there is a chance that she's going to go for a fifth attack. But after testing it a couple of times, it seems like that you know, the regular amount of uh, patterns that she's going to go through uh, through the dream phase is four. If you get hit, once again, if you get hit by this slash right over here, she KOs you. She pulls you into the air, uh, you lose c control of your character, and she caresses you and drains your divinity, drains your everything, soul, whatever, and you die. Now, it doesn't really affect uh, Selrin much if she drains someone. She doesn't get, like, stronger or anything. It's just more of a... Uh, it's just a KO, right? And one of the other patterns that I didn't show you... Um, she does a little preparation. The third outcome. The third uh, attack that she can do. She uh, leaps back and start using the Meteor Shower. So if you ever did Dark Side of the Moon, if you ever uh, um, raided Balor, uh, it's kind of similar to a Meteor Shower that he does. So these explosions are going to appear underneath your character, and they're going to explode after a short delay. So you just dodge and block them, make sure that. If you successfully survive the Dream Phase, Succubus Selrin will emerge 
out of the dream world, uh, you're going to get back to the normal uh, world, and you're going to continue fighting her right there. Once again, keep, uh, keep a close eye, keep a close attention to the delayed attacks of Selrin. They are really, really deadly, so it's all about the timing. Whenever you're far away, she's just going to do the charge towards you, or do these two, three, four slashes. It, it all depends. She mixes up uh, her patterns a lot uh, to try to reach you. She's quite, quite fast, and she teleports a lot. This frontal uh, pattern that I showed you a little bit earlier, watch out for it. The time bombs, of course, attack. Then she teleports, does a, does a double hit. She can end up with, with a single hit. Uh, it all depends. So continue DPSing Selren. At some point, she will return back to the seduction uh, attack. Right here, you can see I just did two dodges, and then uh, if you didn't get hit by the orb, you ain't gonna be charmed, so you can actually take that time to send back Selren and use all your time to DPS her down. And once again, make sure that whenever she's about to cast it, and if you were successful to shake off the charm, Make sure that you're in that inner circle that it's a little bit far away from her, so you're safe. Otherwise, you're going to get caught in the red attack and probably die. Uh, the teleportation attacks, uh, the thrusts, it's uh, its pretty much simple. Uh, there is nothing much to add right here. Uh, always keep in mind that it's all about the timing, because she likes delayed attacks. She has really, really long extended preparations for her attacks, and then she relentlessly uh, hits you with the slashes and teleportations and other stuff. Now, once Selrin drops down to three bars, this little cutscene is going to trigger. What does it mean? It doesn't necessarily mean that um, she's going to get stronger or anything, right? But, but... Selrin gets access to her teleportations even more. She starts teleporting like crazy. She starts teleporting pretty much in the mid-combo, at the end of the combos. She teleports like there is no tomorrow. So, uh, the difficulty raises, uh, obviously. So, you just have to make sure that uh, you continue attacking, uh, continue dodging and uh, blocking uh, most of the patterns, and keep track on where she is, because, as I said, she teleports a lot. Now, this particular pattern is quite interesting. Uh, for some reason, she didn't do it um, in uh, the early stages of my video, but she can do it after the uh, dream phase, after the dream phase. So, after eight and a half bars, she can uh, do this uh, attack. This flying attack, right over here, she leaps into the air and sends an, a massive amount of fireballs your way. They're, uh, they're homing, so just make sure you're dodging away, and after that she performs the meteor shower. That's exactly the pattern that I was uh, talking about that she might use, right over here, that she might use in the dream phase. So you have to make sure that you time it well whenever these explosions appear. Uh, get ready to dodge or block and make sure that these explosions don't don't hit you. Continue DPSing after that. Uh, continue DPSing uh, Selrin. There is nothing, uh, nothing new to it. It's just, as I said, the last phase, the final phase. She's going to teleport a lot. And as you can see in the video, she, she does teleport pretty much all the time. At the end of the patterns, she can teleport in the middle. Right here, I missed my rune blade because of that, unfortunately. But it was, you know, it was kind of obvious. Because the last phase is really, really mad. And she just teleports, slashes you, and uh, uh, just make sure that you defeat Succubus Selren with all this madness going on. She is... Not really that hard to deal with, but this teleportation is what makes people really like sick to their stomach. That's why people don't really like this uh, boss. Apart from that, enjoy uh, undressing this succubus because she has quite some breakoffs. 
Uh, but watch out, watch out. Don't, don't get too into it. Okay, okay, deal. Why? So finish off Succubus Selrin. Enjoy the cutscene. Hopefully, you get something really good from her. And this is it. The succubus has been defeated. Also, I happen to find this new spell sword. I'm not sure if this is going to be a level 110 uh, spell sword, but it looks quite sick. I'm not going to lie. You know, and my Risha looks pretty good with it. And with my secret agent said, definitely. So this is it. This is it. That's everything you need to know about Succubus Severin in the Battle of Eka's Nightmare. In the next episode, we are going to talk about the next boss, which is going to be Marject in the Battle Dungeon Laboratory. This was Legend Arma TV. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for hitting like and subscribe buttons. It's really, really appreciated. I'll see you next time. Be safe. I love you all.